Yeah, yeah, I get it. Five health left on your goddamn standard torso. <laughs> Got that right, Chief. Ooh. Man, the UX 20 is devastating. I love it. Okay. Never hits the head. I think that's a turret over there. Nice. That's a kill. Receiving you. Coordinates received. Target acquired. Flatten that one. Ah, oh, there is a turret over there. Got it. Ready for orders. Waiting for orders. On my way. I don't think I need the UAC for that. Ah, uh, fuck it. Commencing alpha strike. Target destroyed. Alright, since I'm pretty sure that there are turrets way off in the fucking far distance, I'm just gonna ignore them and just extract. Turrets do turret things. There we go. <coughs> good news and bad news, Commander. On the good side, the Strafford Narwhal is out of business. Okay, what's the bad news? I just got word that Gearlock wasn't in it. Sumire's so got him on tight beam. The call will be on your view scheme when you're ready. Mission successful. Ooh. This gets interesting. Oh, 
Alrighty. Take that catapult part. A lot of medium lasers in here. Alright, the rest are mech parts. Bourbon and Battle Max 2. This is a multi-parter. Interesting. Oh, here we go. So you're the horse's ass that blew up my favorite dive bar. You got a Death Wish Fry? Because that's because you're one short hair away from me flying the Yojimbo Yod right down your goddamn throat. Still drunk, aren't you? You sound drunk. Darling, I always sound drunk. It's part of the brand. Wait, I know what you're up to. You're on Allard's payroll, aren't you? This whole thing has stink. Has this stink all over it. I swear to God, that bastard's gonna pay. No news for you, buddy. We're... You're never going to get whatever payback you're looking for from Justin Allard. He doesn't even know why you're after him. I don't give a damn what Allard knows, pal. I just want what's mine. And what's that? Justice? Revenge? Hell no. You ever top off your dropship's fuel tank tanks with justice? How much bourbon and can revenge buy? What I want is a quarter of a million C the is the quarter of a million sea bills Allard owes me, and I won't let the cheap bastard get a wink of sleep until I have it. Shit, we're getting paid more than that to make you go away. Well, now maybe we can make this a win-win. You give me my quarter million, I'll go on my merry way, and we'll all save our battle max any unnecessary damage. Do you have a deal? Here's the thing. I don't agree in destroying a bar to kill someone so that that was kind of questionable i i don't like the means of actually going about trying to kill someone like this i know that if i reject it I, it would probably end up in a mech fight but i just don't like that i did that first so we'll let him off crystal and when you see allard again tell him that if he'd done what was right in the first place he could have avoided all this unpleasantness pleasure doing business with you Number three. Okay. Hi, right, Mr. Olivier. I take it that uh, Garlock is dead? Not as such, no, but he won't be bothering you anymore. We saw to it. Explain. Well, as it turned out, Garlock was after you because he convinced he owed him money, so we just... Gave him the money. You paid him not to fight you. Isn't that the opposite of what mercenaries typically do? How is that different than when you when you hired us? That's a fair point. But what assurance do I have that Garlic will adhere to the terms of your deal? You have our assurance, sir. If Garlic follows you again, we will hunt him down and put an end to him, free of charge. Very well. You didn't solve the problem the way I was hoping you would, but at the end of the day, you did solve the problem, and for that, I suppose you deserve my thanks. No problem. With that, I must return my attention to more pressing matters. Be well, Commander. Allard out. Joke's on him. We still came out of this thing 50 grand ahead. Not that we need it. Yeah, sure, but I still can't believe what you paid... That garlic hit it off. We should have taken him out and kept all the money for ourselves. I don't know. I kind of like the guy. He had spirit. And like the commander said, we still came out ahead. Anyway, what's done is done. Let's put all this behind us and find another contract to work on. Again, here's the thing. It was just such a sketchy fight. Like, dude, I don't want to fight a dude that's not in a mech. Okay, see? Rare mech parts? See? That's, that's actually good. I'll take that. Oh, two mech parts. Oh, boy. Okay, well... I got some mech parts to sell. Let's do that. Actually, this Wolverine's gonna get offed. Islander part stays. Full mechs will stay. Zeus will get go away. A2 gets sold. 
Griffin parts get sold. Shadow work parts also go by. Wolverine. And Panther. Cool. We'll level up Archangel a little bit here. I'm your Spaniel. Or not, we'll wait. Okay. I should... Oh, and there's another flashpoint. Uncommon weapon. Back tonnage maximum. I kind of doubt that, but okay. Oh, Flashpoint campaign has no expiry. Cool, but we'll be there in a month. Roger that, Commander. Close quarters. Okay. Um, since events can come up between now and actually getting there, I will quietly... If you were here yesterday, I'd basically have to take oil and let it absorb for about two to three minutes. And it's just easier to do that without talking, so... Um, what I'll end up doing is I'll key in the next mission, and we're almost about four, four and a half hours in here. Actually, we're over four hours. I'm going to go grab another drink, um, let it absorb, and by the time I get back, I should be able to talk and continue on. So we'll just get there first, though. This is really cool. I have no idea where this Flashpoint's going. This is a Flashpoint campaign. I wonder if there's more than one of these. I also have ECM, and I kind of want to mount it on a mech, but I don't know what mech I can mount it on, because everything else is just... Like, everything that I currently bring in is very... set. Um, black market membership. Dairy centers, the morning briefing room slams the door behind them. Why can't we just have nice things? The agents who represent the black market want us to pay the membership fee. Again. Sumar says, Sumar sighs. I suppose it was just too much to hope for permanent membership. No wonder amongst thieves, huh? Yang shakes his head. Now, Sumar, don't call it. Don't go calling us thieves. We're just entrepreneurs, right? Darius ignores both of them. Commander, what do you want to do? Yep. 50k I don't care I want access to the goddamn black markets without having to pay a thousand percent markup that's fucking stupid I still don't know what caused that dude I'm kind of hoping I'm fixing it but I won't be able to know until I become enemies with pirates again But backwards. Not yet. I always have to check the story, even if there's literally no population here. Banshee 3E. Terrible. Oil L. Oh, so these are the long range versions, and apparently there's closer at you. Well, it's still unique, and I'd rather have more range than not, so. Snubby plus. Whole lot of nothing else going on there, though. Okay. Let's figure this out. Hourglass. High orbit. Apian. Uh, okay. 
Okay, Commander, I've performed a sensor sweep of the planet's surface to confirm what we talked about earlier and everything checks out. The Dobrev is moored at a spaceport about 200 clicks beneath our feet. On the ground? They can't land! Nice, remind me to send that pal of yours a case of Tambiki Dark. Heh <laughs> heh uh. Oh. Wouldn't know where to find him, Yang. Guy's on the run. Turns out he's been running his mouth to lots of people, and the Frontier's criminal underground really, really hates a snitch. Too bad for him, but we got the intel we needed. I'm counting this as a win for us. Don't start celebrating just yet, Commander. There's a snag. We can't move on the spaceport, at least not directly. The whole complex is surrounded by turrets. Besides, the moment the Dobrev's replacement crew catches wind of us, they're going to try to run. And injure themselves terribly when they attempt a KF jump. Maybe even destroy the ship. I don't get the feeling that Nuclear Bombing gives two shits about his hired help, Exo. The Bombing group has jumped the Dobrev before, and if we back these people into a corner, they absolutely will do it again. That is all that is almost certainly true. We all we've all dealt with Nuclear Bauman. We know what the man is like. He wouldn't hesitate to maim his, maim his own employees if he felt that he could profit from it. Thankfully, I believe that we, the Motor Bjorn and I have found a solution. Just a moment, I'll put it on view screen. View screen fills with a grainy silhouette of a squat, boxy building complex. What you're seeing is a security post about 20 clicks north of the spaceport. If we capture this site, we can bring down the turrets and remotely engage the spaceport's docking clamps. Two birds, one stone. With the clamps engaged, the Dobrev won't be going anywhere. Even the Bauman group wouldn't try jumping a ship that's locked down up to the tarmac. That's the play then. We hit the complex, transfer control of its computers to the Motor Bjorn, and then move on the spaceport. We know what we're doing, people. Let's get it done. Interesting. Oh, this is a three and a halfer. This will be a good fight. Um, just for the sake of importance. Bringing a really good pilot. And while the game's loading, I'm gonna go take some oil, walk around for a bit, and I'll be back in about five minutes. Sound good, chat? Cool. See you in a bit.
I'm back, chat. Okay. I feel like my headphones are not long enough sometimes. Chocolate. Okay, Commander, I've set our lance down just outside Bowman's Bowman Group's visual range. Defenses will probably run on the heavy side, so I'd recommend approaching with caution. Yes, but not too much caution. We need to take the facility stat, so then Motor Bureau can lock down the Dobrev's docking clamps. This mission won't count for much if the ship runs off again. Don't worry, Doc. We won't leave Mama Bear hanging, and we don't let and we won't let the Dobrev escape. We can't. The rest the rest of our mystery mech is hidden away on that ship. That's the theory, and we're gonna and we're going to investigate it. But first, we engage the clamps. You know what to do, Commander. I'll leave you to it. We have a ways to go. I want to take this hill. On my way. Affirmative. Enemy detected. Coordinates received. Griffin Enforcer. He somehow moves before everyone else, so... All weapons are go. Oh, he's significantly less scary now. Still no pop. Come on, man. Yeah, critical hit. Well, he is going down though. Orders? Moving out. Engaging. Yep, that was more than ninety damage. <laughs> oh no, someone else gets to go on for. Oh, it's another enforcer. And he missed. Okay, you're probably next because you have an auto cannon that kind of scares me. Not much armor left in that location. And you kind of have equal importance. Okay, you're much less of a threat now that I blew off the AC. Solid connection on that one. Engaging jump jets. Right, torso. All weapons committed. Significant problem solved. And my cat is here, just kind of roaming around the desk. She might want to go back to my room where the heater is. This should be good. Shut up, Gremlin. You had the chip. Good to go. On my way. Hmm. 
No, oh, another auto cannon. Right side, I think. Standing by. Heading out. Firing. Yeah, much less of a threat. Wow, one whole laser. I'm showing minor damage. Oh, and ace pilot, okay. Engaging jump jets. Engaging multiple targets. Objective complete. Double kill. Got eyes on the security complex, Commander. Take it and we'll get this show on the road. You betcha. Move order received. Acknowledged. Engaging jump jets. Move into position. On my way. I'm gonna keep him up here. Moving or I guess my commander up there. Coordinates received. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. Of course they are. It's a spooter. Oh. Apparently not. Receiving you. Roger. There they are. Ooh, 85 tons. That's interesting. 75 in there as well. Locking in all weapon systems. Inflicted some heavy damage. Orion. Oh, I think he's guarded. That's unfortunate. Waiting for orders. Yeah, Glitch is not going to be able to get there. <laughs> Commander, on the move. Hang on, I'm just going to let my cat out of the room. Okay. Kind of surprised it's not done. Commander. Position confirmed. Okay, Orion's next. No headshots. Is multi targeting three in my max? Why one laser? 
As long as I hit it though, but still. I can vent heat next turn. Really? Really? Through my armor? I'm taking internal damage. In the water, too. Enemy down. I think I just got rid of him. Really? I feel like my lance mates like to play with their food. My pretty bound commander will be touching down directly. Incoming transmission. You're quite persistent, Commander Fry. Like a bad rash, I just can't seem to get rid of you. I could crack the obvious joke about that, but it's just too easy. What's coming for you is no laughing matter. I've hired a new kill team, Commander. They'll keep you company while my ground crew prepares the Dobra for departure. We've got new heat signatures, Commander. Incoming mechs, assault class. Get on, Commander. Take him out quick. We need to seize that security complex before the Dobra is clear to launch. As done, a commander again access to the complex's computers and transfer control to the motor bjorn. Thank you, Doctor. I have deactivated the spaceport's turrets and engaged the spaceport's docking clamps. The Dobrev won't be going anywhere without my permission. Hang on a second, I'm getting a hot message over an unknown channel. Bowman again, I'm sure it's but oh, wait, mother f this can't be happening, it just can't. Bounty hunter? What is it, Meyer? Who do you have on the line? Oh, the goddamn Black Widow, that's who. Natasha Kerensky. Born 2973. A legendary mech warrior from the commander of the infamous Black Widow Company. Known aliases include the Black Widow, the Queen of Spades, the First Lady of Death. In mercenary circles, Natasha Kerensky is commonly considered the most dangerous mech warrior alive. 
She is a deadly fighter both in and out of the cockpit. She ha and she has demonstrated a willingness to commit shocking acts of violence with little to no provocation. That doesn't sound like her. Did I miss something, Commander? When did our search for the Dobra have turned into a meet and greet with Natasha effing Kerensky? You better put her through, Meyer. If there's one mech warrior we don't want to leave hanging, the Black Widow is it. That goes for you too, boss. Better get to the view screen, and you better do it now. What happened to those assault mechs? I wanted to fight them. I wanted to destroy them. Loot them. Loot! Battle Master will need some repairs, but that's fine. All but one mech part. I'm fine with that. Black Widow, I'm Darius Oliviera, Exo of the Night Prowlers. Tell us what you need and I'll do my best to make it happen. Natasha Kerensky. I called to talk to the commander of the Night Prowlers, not a switchboard operator. Put Fry on the screen. Ease down, Widow, I'm here. Good, I don't want this to take any longer than it has to. You've been shattering the Dobrev, trailing it to its every port of call. Having friendly chats with the bounty hunter, a man whom I've publicly marked for death. Okay, so this is true. He isn't our friend, he's a grandstanding asshole who gave us a crate. But you received that crate, took it onto your ship. You still have what you found inside. How would you know what we have what we have and haven't been up to? I caught a few of Bauman's pirates, one of the bounty hunter's associates too. I encountered no difficulty getting them to talk. The Dobrev has a history that you can't know, Fry. It shouldn't exist, and neither should its payload. It's a problem, and I intend to solve it. This has to deal with the clans. I was right. However, if it does turn out to be Minnesota Tribe slash Wolverine, that's 100%. Right now, I'm 80% of the way there. 80% of the way there. Why aren't you telling us this? Because words are cheaper than bullets. Don't mistake my willingness to talk for weakness, Fry. Every word from my mouth carries an ultimatum. You'll follow my instructions. If you don't, your company will die. Tell us what you want, then. I'm listening. I want the bounty hunter's crate, along with anything else that came from the derelict. The machine intelligence you're babysitting, too. Dump everything at Bauman Group's spaceport. I want it piled near the Dobrev when I arrive. Why, so you can slag it all in one go? That's right, I value efficiency. You've heard my demands, Fry. Meet them and you'll escape with your life. Do anything else and you won't. The choice is yours. What the shit? Anyone know what any of that was about? Not a clue, but her name is Natasha Kerensky, and we're chasing after General Alexandra Kerensky's exodus. That can't be a coincidence, can it? It should be a descendant of his, perhaps. Yeah, sure. In the same way that everyone named Patel is related to all the other Patels, and all the other people named Smith live together in a communal farm on Atreus. Point taken. Still, the Dobrev has been floating out in the deep periphery for the past 50 years, and who knows where before that. The Black Widow shouldn't know anything about that ship. Nobody should. Unless it was clan in origin. Oh, this is good. Oh. This 
This is great. I love this. None of that matters right now, Doctor. We have a serious problem. If the Black Widow Company reaches the spaceport, there's nothing we can do to keep the Dobrev safe. It's too large a target, and with the docking clamps in place, our derelict will be a sitting duck. Then we'll have to disengage the clamps. Get me... Not Kerbalman. Hold up. Sumar f Sumar's fingers rattle across her keyboard, and not Kerbalman's face swims into focus on your view screen. Calling to glow fry, or do you want to demand a ransom for my ship? You won't get it. I already have reinforcements on the way. We're releasing the docking clamps. Run. I still have material in the spaceport. You will allow my crew to take it aboard the Dobrev before it departs. Anything that isn't on the ship belongs to us now, Bowman. Don't try your patience. Take your goddamn ship and run. Bowman's image winks out as he severs the comm communication. Two steps forward, two steps back, but at least we have a shot at scooping up whatever they left at the spaceport. We'll have to beat the Black Widow there to do it. She'll be as eager to destroy whatever contraband Bowman left behind as we are as we are to acquire it. God help our mech warriors if they have to face off against the Black Widow. Sounds to me like we need a distraction. Something to peel the angry lady away from her lance. You think your drones would be up to it, Mama Bear? It sounded like the Widow had you on her hit list. She called you out specifically. If you took a swing at her, she'd probably sit up and take notice. Agreed, Chief Lieutenant. I will do what I can to lure her away from the rest of your from the rest of her company. But I like to hear, Mama Bear. Come on, Doc, you're with me. Let's get our salvage team ready for the drop in. Exo, we better give her mech warriors the mother of all pep talks. You're gonna need it. Yikes. Need one day. Rare mech, huh? Man, look at that warship. Jump ship, warship. One of the two. Wish we could use that to travel around. <laughs> I should have gotten off like maybe an hour, two hours ago, but this is way too good. The Dobrev is gone, but its crew left an undefined amount of valuable contraband behind at the spaceport. Unfortunately, the Black Widow wants to melt every scrap of that contraband to slag. The Motor Bjorn will draw the Black Widow's attention away from her AO, which should buy Yang and me enough time to ransack the spaceport. We'll be relying on your lance to protect us from anyone else who might come along. Man. Are we taking on the Black Widow company? Alright, Commander, I've just set you down in front of Bauman Group's abandoned spaceport. Farah, Yang, and their team should all should already be inside. Can you confirm that, Yang? Yeah, Meyer, we're here, but calling this whatever it is. Spaceport is awfully charitable for you. Where we're standing is a chop shop, a poorly organized one at that. <clears throat> you better get your team to work. If the rest of our mystery mech is boxed up somewhere in that complex, I'll have a limited time to find it. Understood, XO. For my part, I'm working to crack the encryption on the facility's computers. If they contain information on where the Dobrev is going next, I promise you I will find it. Hate to interrupt, but the party's about to get started down there. I've got a lance of hostile mechs converging on the spaceport. The Black Widow herself is nowhere to be seen, so I guess that Yang's let's throw the Motor Bjorn's drones at her plan is working out. For the time being, it appears to be. That said, I suggest you engage and destroy her lance mates as quickly as possible. The Black Widow is already inflicting ruinous damage on my combat drones. I won't be able to keep her occupied forever. Commander... We need to buy Fair and Yang as much time as possible. Keep the Black Widow Company away from that complex. I'll call it any complications as they arise. I forget, is Natasha Trueborn or not? I can't remember. Uh, 
Um. Yeah, she is a trueborn. Okay. That's cool. Um. Most likely there will be reinforcements back here. Which honestly will not surprise me. So I'm going to prepare myself for success here. Which is going to take point. And two snipers. Well, technically three snipers, but... Close range, mid-range snipers, I guess. Riflemen. Ooh. Black Widow Company. There's the fourth over there. All right. Commander. You are more immediately on my shit list. And now you're not. Oh, there's a Kentaro here. I guess my Highlander is 1v1ing a Kentaro. I hear ya. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Commencing Alpha Strike. How do you still have center torso up, armor? Wow. I need to keep my heat down for the time being. Why are you ignoring the buildings? Or why are you shooting the buildings and ignoring my teammates? My entire lens is engaged with yours. A lot of the damage calculation seems to not be done on time. Reporting minimal damage. Damage is minor, Commander. All weapons committed. Enemy mech. Critical damage. What can I do for you? Moving out. Might be a bad decision doing this, but I just I have to. I'd rather take a mech out of the fight than maybe kill it. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Oh great. Or my Highlander is too. Which means might get shot in the back quite a bit here. Unless they ignore me and go right for buildings, but I don't know about that. Going right for buildings. <laughs> Friendly structure down. Is that a secondary objective? Standing by. Roger that. I need to free up my the shot. Islander. God damn, you're not dead. Oh, 
Oh, stop. Please, stop. I hit three of the four mechs that have come in. So I should probably start focusing on my Highlander instead of the buildings. Hey, we're getting outflanked. No, I just had you turn around. You're fine. Is that it? I'm barely scratched. On my way. Finish him off, please. Got it. Enemy down. I need to see if Glitch can run and help me, maybe. It's kind of unfortunate. God damn it. And of course it's nurture too. Oh. Please get a headshot. No, of course not. Never that easy to get a one-shot kill. What? How? Warning. Damage critical. What the fuck? Warning. Armor breached. Yikes. Might actually lose a Gauss rifle. Maybe. Only one more move. Oh, still okay there. Warning. Armor low. Yes, Commander. How the fuck are you still standing? Confirm. Hostile removed. Thank you, Glitch. I actually have to hide. <laughs> 